All right, everybody, I've been getting questions about how I missed it, how I stay motivated when listing on eBay. So I'm going to give you a rundown of exactly my process, what I do, how I do it. Uh, people always wonder how many, how I get so many items listed per day. I can get anywhere from 100 to 500 items listed a day, and that's just me. So I'm going to show you my routine, how I do everything, and hopefully something will uh, help you stay motivated when listing on eBay. First thing I do is when I get items uh, to list, I stack them and separate them. I'll have, you know, hats. I'll even separate the hats by strap back, snap back, and fitted. Um, I have t-shirts, heavier shirts, sweatshirts, stuff like that, hoodies, jackets. I have it all separated, DVDs, CDs. I break it all down. Okay, then what I do is I go and I take pictures. I have my picture station right here. I'll take pictures. And then what I do is I have a separate staging area. After I take the pictures, I will uh, place them. Uh, like this will be the next area I'm listing. I've already got pictures for. I already got pictures for. I already got pictures for. Pictures for. Pictures for. So my next new pictures I will list. I will pile in there. Pile in there. Pile in. So I keep it all in order. These were all filled. So I keep it all in order and keep rotating and take turns on what I'm doing, whether it's uh, taking pictures, listing, um, what have you. So after I take the pictures here, I place them here. Um, what I do then is come over to eBay. Now, I'm gonna show you several different things. I use eBay drafts. What I recommend is creating uh, a template draft that you will make copies off of every time you list. Uh, what I mean by this is, if you look down here, I've got fitted hats, t-shirts, adjustable hats, that's strap backs, LPs, generic is for stuff I don't have quantity of, say it's a stuffed animal, you know, a toy, things like that. I'll use the generic, uh, snapback, 45 records, blue jeans, necktie. Uh, so I make a template one to make copies off of. I'll make copies of that. Say I got uh, hats to list. Um, I click there, hit create copy, and I'll make nine copies of that. Why nine is because I use my phone that you're seeing right there. I use my phone to take my pictures. And nine fit across the app really well because uh, then you know when you get to the 10th one, it's blank and you need to make nine more copies. So that's why I do nine. I'll make nine copies and then uh, start taking pictures uh, with my phone. And then that's when I place it up here. So separate, take pictures using the phone based off of template drafts that you already have set up, place them on a shelf to be listed later. So then you have everything pretty much in your draft except a few details like I'll show you one here I'm listing this hat here Hills appliance I went ahead and typed it in because it's typer easier to type with two hands than one hand since one hands holding the phone Hills so I typed that in the adjustable hat that was already set in my template uh, glass cube because that is where I store my items to be listed. So now I will change that to my container I'm putting it in. So all I have to do is change that. Since it's a template, my settings are already set for the uh, categories I want them to go in. Uh, if it ends up being new, obviously I have to change that. Um, I use the generic uh, description and just put a little simple thing in here that's on everyone. That's a in the template. There's the pictures I took with my phone. All right, then I fill out the brand. This will be Mossy. Mossy Oak. Camouflage. It's a baseball hat. So all this stuff is already set up for me in my draft that I made a copy off of. Simple description. I don't put anything in there. Like I said, I just put up here, you know, see pictures for detailed condition. So I don't waste time getting into the description of everything. I have all my hats set at a certain price. If it's something I think I should get more for, I'll raise that, if not less. And then obviously, too, I have a flat fee for uh, shipping. 
So I that's already set in my template. And what I do is I have many made up. I have them for media, hats, t-shirts, LPs, jackets. So those are already all preset. So they'll be preset in my template that I made. I'll go down here. And then after I do that, I save the item. Why I save the item instead of listing the item? Because it's easier to list several in a row than one at a time. So then after I got, you know, 10, 20, 50, whatever I feel like, I'll go ahead and click those and complete the draft. Now why I do this is another reason is to make sure I never place something in a position or in a tub or a home that is wrong. This is a way to double check it. You can set up your customized columns here and I put my custom labels first so I can see that they are in the right spot. Uh, if I change a uh, a tub, then I go ahead and list everything that I just put in that tub so I don't get confused with the next one. And then also too, I have my store categories here as another important factor for me because that's how I decide uh, when I reduce the price. If after it's been in there six months, I'll reduce the price 25% and then so on and so forth after that. So after that, obviously you got those two things right. You hit your submit and list them. One thing I do after they list is if you see, I got all these windows open. I keep all these windows open at all the time. So I'll go to newly listed items, start going through my items. One thing I like to do is to share all my stuff on social media. Uh, this will give you a larger footprint online. People could be searching for something on Facebook, on Pinterest, whatever, and that'll get you a lot more views, a lot more clicks, and a lot more sales. Uh, obviously, this Volvo hat I just put up. You have your two views, which is like normal when you list an item. It's probably like a set number that's every item I list usually has two come up. So what you do, if you don't have an eBay page for your eBay store, or I mean a Facebook page for your eBay store, set one up. I know a lot of people like keeping their stuff kind of secret, which makes no sense to me. If you're in a business of selling, you need to be, let people know that you're selling. Uh, so make a page for your eBay store. I have um, probably, let me pull that out. Urban Picker business page. So there's my business page. And I have getting right ahead of a thousand people on my business page. So oh, let me go back over here. And let me pull that back up. So I'm getting ready to share on the Facebook. So to a page you manage and your business page. So share it there. If you don't have a Pinterest set up, set up a Pinterest and a Twitter. My Twitter's already automatically set up with my Facebook. So when I post it on Facebook, it automatically sends it to my Twitter. So I don't have to mess with Twitter. And then I do the Pinterest. And then I have it, a folder set up on Pinterest for my eBay store. Click that and not share it on there. The one good thing about doing something like this is you see that too. You refresh and you immediately got 16 more views, 14 more views, I should say. And what that does is help in the search, the algorithm on eBay when it comes to uh, the uh, best match. Uh, it shows up higher in your store, shows up higher on eBay from what I understand. So. There, let's refresh it again, see if it popped up any, popped up two more. So when you put it on Pinterest and put it out there in the social media world, you get a lot more views, which can lead to more sales, obviously. So that's what I do. That's the simplicity of it. Um, some little tips on how I stay motivated is the way I just showed you, you can break it down in many different steps and many different categories. I could come over here and say, okay, I'm just going to work on t-shirts today. Let me get all these t-shirts listed or taken pictures of get the pictures taken up, put them in there. Okay, now I have all my drafts of my t-shirt set up. Now, if I feel like taking more pictures, I can take more pictures. If I feel like listing them, I can list them. If I feel like uh, breaking it up into something else, I go, okay, let me go ahead and knock these two hats out. Go ahead, make your copy of your draft, take the pictures of your two hats, put them in the, the uh, glass thing. So you can, you can stop and change your situation. I have a hard time uh, some days I want to do nothing but take pictures. I don't feel like listing. I just want to take pictures all day. 
then that's when that fills up dramatically. Other days, I just want to list. I don't feel like taking pictures. That's when that's depleted uh, rapidly. Uh, just yesterday, I picked up some high dollar items that I jumped to the front of the line. They were sitting right here. They were some expensive satin jackets. I go, you know what? I'm just getting these up immediately. So I went ahead and took the picture, listed them, and got them up immediately. So there's a many, there's different ways you can break it down to make it simple and not as painstakingly annoying repetitive. I uh, hope that all makes sense to you. Another thing that I noticed that helps me is if you notice here, I have my computer to sit down at and my computer to stand at, and I have my picture taken. It's all here together. One thing, I have not taken a picture or listed an item sitting down at the computer in a good eight, nine months. If you can set up something where you can stand at to work, because when you do that, you stay more motivated. You stay more engaged in what you're doing. You stay more mobile. When you sit down, you have a more tendency to watch videos or whatever. Also, too, at least with me, I wouldn't recommend playing videos in the background or nothing like that because you will get lost. You will get lost in either what you're doing or you're not going to pay attention to the video. At least that's how I work. I just have music playing every day. If And half the time I probably couldn't tell you what song just played because my head is into what I'm doing. But the music is there to keep my body moving, keep me swaying to the beat, whatever. It keeps me motivated mentally because I play music almost 24 hours a day. But that's just me. So I hope that kind of makes sense to you on how I list and how I do things to keep it convenient and to not make it repetitive and to stay motivated in listing. And I can always jump around. Like I said, I can take pictures of one thing. I can take pictures of many things. I can take pictures of a couple of things. Go ahead and list them. So you can jump around in all the different aspects because everything is broke down into a single action. And if you break it down into a single action, and it'll go a whole lot smoother and a whole lot quicker because no matter what mood you're in, you can get something accomplished, whether that's collecting more pictures, creating more drafts, or listing more items, or a day that you feel like doing both. So, hope that makes sense. I'm going to rewatch this video to make sure it makes sense to me, and then I'll go ahead and post it. So... Any questions you can put below and I'll be happy to answer. And that's it. That's all I got. Later.